hello welcome back again to my youtube channel jennifer bryce it's good to be with you once again god bless you for my subscribers i said thank you so much let me give this opportunity to say thank you for subscribing and those returning subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch my videos god bless you and if you are just joining us for the very first time, you are welcome. Feel free to like, leave a comment, put on the notification bell, subscribe most importantly. So that whenever we upload a video like this, you should be able to be there to know that yes, something is going on. Something good is going on. Thank you so much. God bless you. As you guys know, you know that I love children very well and my topic is always central on children. It's always central on, or central on children because these days it's so disheartening, so painful to see the way that our kids are growing up. Most of the fault is usually from our parents. That is why we have decided to put on something like this to remind our beautiful hard-working parents so that in the course of carrying out their uh, job their official job they will not forget the one that is most important in the house thank you very much today i'm going to be talking about children again i will be talking about a uh, some responsibilities as Christian parents towards our kids. Our responsibilities as Christian parents towards our kids. Well, children are such beautiful gifts. And unfortunately today, most of us see children as burden. We see them as problem. So this mentality is so far so different from what God has designed for each and every one of us. Whether you are you have a child of your own, whether by chance you are taking care of your nephew, your niece, your relative, or so ever, or you are adopted, you are not excluded from this. You are not excluded from this. Because in one way or the other, you are parenting. You are a parent. You understand? So we shouldn't see parenting as a burden. We shouldn't see parenting as a burden. And again, I would like to tell you that don't raise your child, your kids. Don't raise them more than you have. Don't raise them, your kids to have more than you have. Don't raise them to have more than you have. Always raise them up to be more than you were. Don't raise them to have more than you have. I don't know if you get this message. Don't raise your children to have more than you can provide. Raise them to be more than what you were. It is very, very important. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, 127 verse 3 verse 35 he said behold children are the heritage from the lord the fruit of the womb a reward like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth blessed is the man whose quiver is filled with them now let me be giving you the reason of this to give you some of our responsibility as godly parents towards our children because i believe that most people have forgotten that why god has given them the why god gave them the responsibility of being a good parent some of them, some of us do not even know the reason why we are parents yet. They don't know. 
Some people do not know the reason that why God has made them parents. It's so surprising to see the way some of us behave towards our kids. They tend to overdo some things and some of them, they are so careless. They don't even care because uh, 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 they have begun to see these beautiful and loving kids whom God has given to them to care for as a burden. I want to beg you, don't see your child as a burden. I know parenting is one of the hardest things. <laughs> you might say, look at, well, yes, parenting is one of the hardest things. It is not easy. But with the help of God, with the manual of God, we can do parenting easily. With the help of God, if you follow the instruction of Almighty God, parenting will be easy for you. It's not easy to be a parent. If you have two children, if you have five, five children, you have five different characters in your home. It's not the way you deal with the first one, you will deal with the second one. No. You have a whole lot in your hands, so it is not easy. Today we are going to be first and foremost, we will be looking at loving your children. Parents, how much do you love your children? How much do you love your kids? You need to love these children just as God loves you. Teach them how to love, what love is all about. Teach them how to respect outsiders. Because once you love, you teach them how to love, they love themselves, then they will be able to love other people. Teach them what love is all about. It is the amount of love you dish out to your children that will help them outside to relate with other people. That love is that same love they will transfer onto outsiders. Because God loves you, if you care for your children the way God cares for you, you won't have problem. Never. Agua. You will not have problem in parenting. Love your kids the way God loves you. The way Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus Christ came down to die for your own sin. Okay, let me ask you this. As a parent, if you are asked to choose between this life and your child, what will you choose? There are some parents. They don't. They don't. They don't mind. They are so loving. They they choose their children over life because they want to. They, they and they make sure they use their last breath to tell their children, "I love you." Let me ask you this: How many times have you told your child, "I love you"? How many times have you called that child to yourself and give that child a hug? How many times have you come to where your child is, give your child a peck, tell him or her that you love her, you love him? If he's not spoiling, you, know, you are not spoiling that child, never. You are teaching that child what love is all about. Teach your child. Teach your child what love, the love of God, is all about. I pray the Lord will help us as we continue. The second one we are going to be looking at is teaching and guiding your children. How do you teach your children? How do you guide them? Teaching is of God. You don't for you to teach your children is God, you leave teaching in the hands of God. All you need to do as a parent is to guide your kids. You guide them. You guide them from going astray. You guide them from going. Always table your kids matter before the Almighty God. Don't think it's something you can do with your chest. No. Don't think it's something that you can do with your strength. Table your kids matter. Onto the table of Almighty God, He will take absolute control. 
because he is the all-knowing God. He will do that which only him can do. That is number two. The third, third uh, 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 point we are going to be looking at today is discipline your child. <laughs> this is a very, very tough part of, this is where many, many parents miss it. Discipline of a child. Some of us feel tired, we feel lazy, we feel, I don't know, they feel that it is not right to discipline a child. My sister, my brother, parents, mommy, guardians, wherever you are watching me from, you need to discipline your child. Even we, Jehovah God loves us to the extent that he disciplines us. It is whom you love, you discipline. If you do not love your children, then you can't discipline them. And let me tell you, the kind of discipline you give out to each children differs. It is not what you use for your first child that you will use for your second child. Because they are not the same. They are unique in their own way. They have different character. There are some that they don't, they like, they don't, they hate grounding. Then there are some, they don't like serving any kind of punishment. They, they, you need, it depends on the level of the disobedience of that child. There are some that are out of hand that you need to take them to a reformed home. To a therapist that can take care of them. There are some that you need to talk to them. You explain to them the reason why they shouldn't do that. And they will take it. There are some you look at them with your eyes. They understand you. And refrain from that which you are talking to them about. There are some you smack, they don't even hear you. So it depends. All you need to do is ask for the wisdom of God. Mommy and daddy, guide them. Wherever you are watching me from, learn to discipline your child. It is out of love that you discipline your child. You learn to discipline your child. If Jehovah, if God Almighty can discipline us, then who are we not to discipline our children? Refraining from disciplining your child means you are spoiling that child. Most especially uh, in Europe, America, and uh, all these uh, uh, countries where we have most Africans. Africans don't even, Africans uh, in diaspora, they don't even talk to their children because they are looking at the hand of the law. We are not telling you to beat and injure this child. You need to teach your child. There is a lot of trends going on out there today that we pray every day that our children don't get to know about them. A lot of trends. Children hating parents. Children killing parents. Children fighting parents. That will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. It is the way you start with your kids right from infants that he will grow up with. The Bible said, train up your child the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. And that is the truth. The basic truth. Nothing but the truth. Don't say you are in Europe. You are in America. You cannot talk to your child. You are the mother. You are the father. Don't allow your children to control you. Don't allow your children to control you. You are to control your children. Don't allow them to tell them, to tell you what you should be doing. Let your voice be louder than that of your children. As a parent, a lot of things are going on in the world today. That if I begin to measure, <laughs> mention them, we will not live here. A lot of trends consigning parents and children. Even some children using uh, 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 armed weapons against their parents. It is very, very sad. Don't say it is the law. Don't say it's Europe's time. 
Don't say it's America's style. No, it is your style. It is what you want for your children. It is what you want. The government is not coming to train your children for you. I have never seen a community that would not want a good upbringing children around them. Even these people we are talking about, they train their own children. There are some of them, they have trained their own children to the lager. So why can't you? You that have been disciplined. Your parents have taught you way. Why would you refuse to teach your own children simply because you are in Europe? Simply because you are in America? Why are you destroying the life of your children? They blame me the law. Blame me the country where you find yourself. Never. I beg you, parents, wherever you are watching me from, I beg you, guidance, always discipline your children and make sure that the way you discipline A is not the way you discipline B. Always look at the gravity of their offense. Always look at the gravity of their disobedience to punish them. You can't punish somebody who did not uh, 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 who did not sweep the way somebody who fought. No, it's not the same thing. Or somebody who, who, who brought something from school, then you now keep it as a parent. I am coming to that. I am coming to that. Your children, when they, some of us, when our children come home with another children's property, we leave them in the house then. No. Immediately you send them away. You don't need it. Let them know that this is your house. Parents, wherever you are watching me from, I beg you, let's learn to discipline our children. It is very, very important. If God Almighty can discipline us, then he's telling us that we should also discipline our children. It is very, very good. Let's raise another generation that will take over from us. A generation that will not forget God. A generation that will not join the, the evil, bad one gong. Don't raise a street boy. Don't raise street children. Don't raise bad one. Go. No. We are children of God. We need to live our life according to the will and the handwriting of God for us. It is very, very important. The next one we are going to be looking at is um, setting an example. As parents, we need to set example, good example for our children. It is what our children learn from us that they, that they portray outside. We are their first mirror. We are their first teacher. We should be, we should not be only a, a talker alone. We should be the doers. Whatever we say, whatever we want them to do, we should be the one to do it first and they will copy from us. There are some parents, terrible parents, I say, terrible. There are some terrible parents, they lie. Some of them, their children will bring other people's uh, property home. They don't return it. Some of them we even send. I remember a child, I was told, I didn't see it. I was told that it happened. A child stole the teacher's money and took it home. The woman collected it from that child, a child of three years, collected it from the son and she was happy, telling the boy that he did very well and she spent it. Ask me, how do they get to know? They look in the school, they check the, 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 the CCTV, the camera that was in place. Actually, the teacher didn't even know that it was, she, didn't, she can't even think of it, that a little boy like that could do such a thing, that a little child from the class of three years could do such. It's the matter, uh, the first one went like that, then the second one the boy stole. 
Ha, the man they said this is a very this is a too much. It's too much. How can? So they have to go back and check the camera. The first time they didn't check the camera, but this time around they checked the camera. When they check it, they saw this little boy doing it. And they call him, they ask him. As a child, innocent boy, he said, Yes, who did you give the money to? He said, Is the mother. That the first time he gave the mother, the mother said, He's a good boy that he should be bringing more. So the boy has a man and went to go and give the mother. That the mother used the money to buy things in the supermarket. That is how terrible some parents can be. How can you see an eraser that you didn't buy for your children and you are you are lying to your house? How can you see book you didn't buy? How can you see clothes you didn't buy for your children and you are lying in your house? For your own children. How can you allow that? You have to be a good example for your children. Make laws in your house. A house without law is a destroyed house. Even the kingdom of God has law. The Ten Commandments, that is it. Anywhere the government has law. Your house should have law. Even the churches and mosques that you go to, they have laws guiding them. Don't forget to make laws. To make laws in your own house. Put down certain laws that must be followed. Laws that will guide your children. Whosoever disobey, deviate from me to get it very, very hard. Let them know that this is what should be done. Please, parents, you are the first example for your children. And it is through you, your children will get to be a Christian that you are. If you portray yourself as a Christian, you are not doing the right to your children. And let me tell you, your children do not have the right. It is not by force that they should be Christian because you are a Christian. No. It is your character that will lead them being a Christian. It is your obedience to, to God. Your, your concern about holy holiness that will make them to become Christian. It is not because you are a Christian you force them. Uh, because they are answering your name, no. It is your character, your, 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 your eagerness for holiness that will make your children to become Christian and lover of God. So you need to set good example. You are the one, they are your first souls that you are going to win to God. Win those souls to Christ. Win those souls. Let them know the beauty of serving the Lord Almighty. Let your children know that yes, in, 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 if you if by the time you yourself your obedience to the work, will and work of God, you will see your children, they will follow suit. You won't talk much. You won't talk much. You won't talk much. You won't talk much. I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. And this time, uh, well. There's a lot of things, like I said before, going on in the world right now. A lot of things going on. I will be back very soon by the help of the Holy Spirit. And we will talk about some of them. Thank you very much. If you have been watching us, God bless you. Please continue to follow us. So, But if you are just coming for the first time, just press that subscribe button and leave on a notification bell so that whenever we upload videos like this, you get to see. Leave a comment. Please, when you watch my video, leave a comment for me. Encourage me so that I will know that you are there for me. So that I will find reason to always come back again. Leave a comment. We are open to... to to, to uh, correction. If we are not something we are not doing well, tell us about it. We will change. If you need us to talk on a topic, give us the topic. We will make research and talk about it. Please, we love you. 
We love you as much as you love us. Learn to love your kids. Okay? Don't see them as a body, no. Lord God Almighty, keep us and make us to enjoy the fruit of our womb and labor. It is not easy being a parent, like I said before. It's one of the hardest things. I know God will help us. Thank you very much for watching. This is my YouTube channel, Jennifer Bright TV. Please feel free to follow me. Feel free to always go back to listen to all these videos, please. God bless you as we wait to see next time. God will continue to keep our children for us and give them the spirit of obedience in the name of Jesus. Thank you. See you next time. I love you.